Karibu tena asante sana kwa kuendelea kuwa nasi hapa kwenye Jamvi la Sema ambapo kama kawaida siku ya Jumatano tunaangazia masuala ya wanawake uongozini na ni vizuri kwamba hata tunapozungumzia wanawake uongozini hatukosi mwanamme. Mbaya <laughs> yuko nasi hapa. Mmeingiza katikati kabisa. Hai <laughs> mimi langu kusikiza tu ikiwa na masuala ya kufuatilia lazima nifuatilie. Hapo sasa. Uh, na naona jumbe zinazidi kuingia kuhusiana na lile swali ambalo tulikuwa tumekuuliza je unadhani kwamba uh, idadi ya wanawake uongozini ongezeka katika serikali ijayo je unadhani idadi ya wanawake itaongezeka katika serikali ijayo nambari ya rafa ni mbili mbili nne mbili mbili au kupitia mitandao ya kijamii ukitumia alama ya reli sema 2022 na kama ndivyo kwarifu hapa awali uh, tuko na wageni wetu hapa kwenye studio bizi pora kitoni ambaye alikuwa mwenyekiti wa maendeleo ya wanawake kwa muda mrefu tu miaka moja uh, pia tuko naye bi nyiva mwenda ambaye alikuwa waziri wa kwanza wa kike na pia alihudumu kama mbunge wote wawili walihudumu kama wabunge kwa miaka mingi tu na ningependa tu kuwauliza swali hili wakati huu kunaonekana kuwa na msisimko kuhusiana na wanawake uongozini je jambo hili linawafanya mhisi vipi tukianza na wewe zipora uh, kwanza ni tasema ni furaha kubwa sana kwa mimi na wamama wensangu na mwensangu rafiki yangu mama nyiva sababu tumeona historia imefanyika katika nchi yetu chusi asimio collision walitetua mheshimiwa madha karua kuwa running mate na kitu haichafanyika katika Kenya hii tangu tupate uhuru miaka stini iliyopita kwa hivyo tunachifunia na tunafurahi kwa kupata hiyo kiti mm -hmm. na ukiuliza ya kwamba <coughs> wamama wataongezeka nitasema safari ya wamama imekuwa mrefu sana na tumeshaona mabadiliko makosa ilifanyika in tulipounda serikali ya kwanza mambo ya kina mama haikuwekwa kwa katiba mm -hmm na ndio ikachukua muda mrefu sasa nikisema 60 years ni muda mrefu sana na sasa tunasema hata kama imekuwa mrefu tunafurahi na tunashukuru Mungu na tunataka kushukuru eh, anayetarajiwa kuwa rais wa Kenya namba tano, Amolo okay, Raila Amolo Odinga kwa kuteua madha karua na mimi nitamwambia wa mama sasa wa Kenya msilale bado mapambano tuamuke tufanye kampeni ya tati ili tusipotese hiyo kiti sababu tayari tumefurahi tumesherekea lakini bado ni kama mtoto tunangochea saliwe kwa hivyo ni furaha nyingi sana lakini nikisema tumetoka mbali kama mambo ya kina mama ingeitinishwa katika katiba ya kwanza hatungekuwa mahali tuko tungekuwa mbali sana lakini si ocha mama ziporo umegusia uh, nafasi ambayo amepewa Martha Karua kuwa mgombea mwenza uh, lakini itakumbukwa katika historia si mara ya kwanza maana tunafahamu kwamba uh, B Julio Jambo aliwahi kuchaguliwa kuwa naibu na fikiri kama si wakalonzo mshoka mgombea mm -hmm. wakati huo lakini pengine tueleze tofauti ya wakati huo na sasa kwa sababu inaonekana kama wakati huu kuna hisia tofauti kuna mhemko zaidi kutokana na chaguzi hii ya Martha Karua Julia alikuwa mama ya kwanza kuwa assistant minister mm -hmm. lakini wasiri ya kwanza ni huyu Nyiva no. nakumbuka vizuri sana sababu siku hiyo tulienda kwa baba Moi nilikuwa maendeleo nikasema atuendi Beijing na mwanaume ndio <laughs> tukapata huyu kwa hivyo usini kwa sasa babu naomba radhi mimi maneno ya mama iko historia iko ndani ya damu kabisa nina pepa sana Asante kwa, kwa hivyo atuchapata mm -hmm. hii ya mother mm -hmm. ni kitu ya muhimu sasa tumeona mm -hmm. na unajua ya kwamba after 2010 ndio sasa maneno ya kina mama liwekwa katiba mm -hmm. lakini tumetembea Mexico tumeenda Copenhagen tumekuja Nairobi forward looking strategy tukaenda Beijing na 500 women na mama Nyiva lakini si mambo ya kina mama bado iko mbali yeah. 
but we really want to be 50-50 to kai mesa ba moja. Because I believe in women who are mama and your nguso ya Kenya, nguso ya inji. Nam. Uwe si kukualify ile mama anafanya na yule mwanaume anafanya. Kasi ya mama ni kubwa sana na inasifa yeshimiwe. Uh, mama Nyiva wakati ambapo eh, mama Zipora hapa anazungumzia enzi hizo za nyuma nadhani pia wewe unakaa chini na unafikiria kwamba wakati huu watu wakiwa wanamsisimko kuhusiana na kuteuliwa kwa Martha Karua uh, kunao vijana wanasema lakini kuna pia wagombea urais wengine wametaja wanawake kama wagombea mwenza kwa nini hili la Martha Karua linamsisimko zaidi kwa kwewe Okay thank you asante uh, sana. Hii ya Karua ni ni, ni kitu ni, ni, ni special. It is special. Sikumbuki si, si Kenya mtu yoyote akichakua ak, mama ku, kuwa msaidizi wake ama deputy mm -hmm. atujapata hiyo. Na mnadhani lile ambalo Nimro alikuwa anataja ni wakati ambapo Kalonzo alifanya hivyo lakini haikuwa kwa kama vice president uh, kama waziri eh, kama actually ali seven deputy if i remember mm -hmm. yeah na ndipo uh, uh, after the the, the election, election yeah. he did that lakini kama vile zipora alisema tulipoendelea tulipoendelea ndipo tukawa tunaenda actually ilikuwa mainly benching na tulikuwa tunaenda na wakina mama wengi sana na tulikuwa tumekuwa na mikutano hiyo hapo awali na ilikuwa yule anaongoza eh, eh, mkutano ya wanawake ni mwanaume ndipo akina sipora wakasema no this it si 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 sawa lazima tu, tupate kina mama wetu wa kutuongoza na ndipo hapo nili nili uh, 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 appointment ya kuwa full cabinet minister mm. na tukaenda Beijing wamefanya mambo mengi walishikana katika mfita ya maumao alafu tumeanza sasa mkutano wa kwanza wa kina mama ikaanzia Mexico kule Mexico nilikuwa msichana mdogo nilikuwa huko lakini zitakuwa kuelewa tukakucha mkutano wa UN ya pili kule Denmark tukaanza kupata mwanga tukakucha ya tatu Nairobi forward looking strategy siku hiyo ilikuwa fita kali tulip sababu tuli host nataka kuwakumbusha mimi najua mlikuwa mchasaliwa <laughs> wanaume walitoroka Nairobi Puh. <laughs> Ata muzee alienda kabarak. <laughs> Weli alikucha kufungua mkutano na kwenda kabarak. Nairobi iliwachiwa wa mama wash Nairobi. The whole world was here. We did what is called forward looking strategies but before the Kenya delegation tulisema Matiba was the minister for mm. culture. <laughs> Tukasema awezi ku represent Kenya to read the statement for Kenya. <laughs> It was not easy. Mbaka mse akalete sisi kwa room tukachakua Margaret Kenyatta, the late Margaret Kenyatta, who was head of the Kenyan delegation. And we repeated the same to Liboenda Beijing. Tukasema hatuwezi kwenda na mwanaume tena ndio mama nyiva akapewa nafasi nafasi ya kuwa wasiri wetu wa kwanza mm -hmm. kwa hivyo haichakuwa rais kupewa kwa mesa hivi mm -hmm. and it is our right that we must be equal kwa, partners kwa huku, huku, equal partners kwa hivyo kwa mfano wa sasa mm -hmm. huku kwa naibu rais William Ruto kusema kwamba nitatoa nafasi kumi kwa wanawake isichukuliwe kama Iyo ni kutanganya kama ni fever ichukuliwe kama ni haki yenu alafu pili iyo, iyo zi... kwa kwa naibu kwa uh, uh, Raila Odinga pia kumchagua uh, Martha Karua isionekane kwamba ni fever mnafanywa ni haki yenu It's not a favor it's our right no. but hii kusema kumi ni kusungumza sababu ya siasa but it will not be a reality mm -hmm. kwa nini unasema hivyo mimi nasema hivyo sababu tumepita hiyo njia it has not been easy 
Yeah, mm -hmm. but that uh, in the constitution today, kama sa hii tunaongea, inataki watuwe na one third. Yeah. In appointments across. Maybe. That is members of parliament. That is also in government, in the executive, and even in, in the parastatals and everywhere. But we, and we have been with that. Actually, that we started actually when we came from uh, Beijing, and it was also put, it was put in the constitution. Mm -hmm. And uh, today, ne, we, 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 we don't have... Nimesema ni ya kastini, ya? No. Na ina ni uma, <laughs> mwa kastini, imekua mutamurefu sana. Mama wakwanza kuingia bunge ni Mama Grace Onyango. Yes. We, touch, we thank God, she's still alive. Mm. Alafu ikakua, chemima kechaka, haka ingia bunge kwa nomination. Yeah. Alafu, ikaenda, 60 okay. years. No. Down the line, unataka kuniambia gesho mutanipa hiyo, ten slots mm. kwa uraisi na mnai. Women must be respected and be given their position rightly. Mm -hmm. Na wakati ambapo mkitoka Beijing, uh, kulikuwa na uh, propaganda mbao ilikuwa inaenea. Hazwa nikimsikiza Madam Zipora kisema kwa mba 50-50. Nafikiria kwa mba wakati huo, wanaume pia walikuwa na hisi kama wanawake waliporejea na masharti haya yote. Walikuwa ni kama wanataka kuwakalia wanaume. Ni kama walikuwa wanataka ku, uh, hata kugawanya uh, majukumu nyumbani. Hilo suwala mulili sulishe kivipi mmanyivu. Unaiyo hiyo ilikuwa propaganda. Mm. It was just propaganda. Mingi sana. Because kwa, kwa sababu tulivuwa kuja, na tul, tulikuwa dunia mzima. Kwa hivyo tulikuwa tukiongea mambo ya matabu na, na, na mambo yale wanawake, wanaona. Na ilikuwa platform of action. Ile mambo ilikuwa inatakika kufanya kutengenezwa kila mahali si hapa Kenya peke yake ni kila mahali kwa sababu duniani kuko na hiyo you know that difference between mambo ya wanawake na ya wanaume na ya wanawake ni kukaliwa eh? not being given equal opportunities and that hiyo ndio tulikuwa tunataka kutoka tulipokuja siku kalia mtu nataka niwakumbushe kitu kimoja the united nations resolutions mm. for two third gender imeidinishwa in our region except kenya tumekuwa bunge mara ngapi kupigania hiyo mara nyingi twale bill mm. ilianguka kwa nini Alafu unaniambia utanipa hiyo kumi raisi sana. Mm -hmm. By talking, but not by action. Mm -hmm. And if it will be action, tutashukuru sana. And it is time that we respect the laws ile imewekwa. No. Sababu pila hiyo itakuwa ngumu. Wamama watakuwa bado wanalalia. Mm -hmm. And I think the problem kubwa sana ni ile hiko ya kwamba iski historia na kitamaduni mhm mm aitatoka katika kichwa ya watu sababu we were told a woman belongs to the kitchen mm -hmm. nyumbani ukiitu ukiuliswa nani iko hapo nasema hakuna mtu eh. na wewe iko na wewe ni mama <laughs> so it is our cultures ile imetusuia no, kwa kuheshimu na kupitisha na kutekeleza yale inatakikana ki, ki ulimwengu. Kenya ilikuwa number one in the region. Femnet ilikuwa inasunguka Rwanda, Wabi, Uganda. We walked with Maendeleo. I thank God bado inaendelea mpaka sasa. Miaka hiyo stini. Na saa hii tuna celebrate 70 in Maendeleo. Tulienda kusaidia wa mama kule kule Rwanda, Sudan, me, eh, eh, Tanzania. Lakini wamekuja wametupita. Yes. Sababu we are being tumekanyakwa na mambo yetu. Pichui kitamaduni ya manini. Mm -hmm. Alafu sasa si tumekua wanyuma. So when I see, when you see me celebrating mambo ya karua sasa. Sababu najua vile tumefinyika. But it has come timely. And we really appreciate that appointment. And we would like to see it in reality. That it uh, 
mambo yake itakuwa mzuri atakuwa deputy president no. kwa hivyo namwambia wa mama wote tufanye pd kuona ya kwamba asimio imepata hiyo kiti <laughs> ndio mother achukue hiyo <laughs> na mbili kwa kusungumza tu <laughs> yeah, na ningetaka kuongeza hapo eh, mama Zipora amesema ukiangalia kama East Africa Uganda hapa wamewahi kuwa na uh, vice president na fikiri wawili Oye, yeah. wanawake wanawake wamekisha kuwa na speaker yeah. wa mbunge sisi atu, atu, atu pata mmoja kama Rwanda. kama hawa haya hata Rwanda yeah. Rwanda you know Rwanda is a special country because you know Rwanda ndio iko na wanawake wengi right. zaidi duniani in parliament lakini yao unajua inatokana na ile genocide no. walikuwa nayo ya yeah, kwa sababu wako na 52% mm. members of parliament in okay. Rwanda okay. Uganda eh, Tanzania hapa ambayo tulikuwa tunafikiri tuko mbele yao maybe kwa ki, 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 ki biashara lakini angalia sasa president wa, 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 wa Tanzania ni, ni, ni mwanamke mnaweza kusema ilikuwa by good luck lakini si yule ali 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 aliaga ali, alikuwa amemchakua kuwa deputy yeah. yake mm. kwa hivyo hapa kwetu tukiangalia tumeachwa tumeachwa mbali sana mm. naam na narifiwa kwamba tayari tuko naye bi Beth Mugo kupitia mtandao karibu sana mama Beth asante sana kwa kuungana nasi kwenye mjadala huu wa leo na kiwasikiza hawa mama zetu ambao wamekuwepo kutoka miaka ya nyuma je unakubali kwamba uh, Kenya bado tuko nyuma sana katika uwakilishi wa wanawake uongozini Sijui kama unanipata mama Beth Mugo. Uh, je unakubaliana na mama Zipora na mama Nyiva kwamba Kenya bado tuko nyuma sana katika uwakilishi wa wanawake serikalini? Hello. Eh hey, tunaweza kukusikia mama Beth, tunakusikia vizuri kabisa. Nafikiri tumepupa fursa ya kuchangia utueleze pale tulipo kama wanavyozungumza mama Zipora na vile vile mama Nyiva kama umeridhika ama bado hujaridhika na uongozi wa wanawake hapa nchini kufikia sasa nafasi zinatosha ama bado tukili nyuma nafikiri tunatatizika kimawasiliano kidogo tu uh, pengine kwa kifupi tu tutarudi kwake mama Beth uh, lakini mama Zipora nikuulize uh, utenda kazi wenu ulionekana wazi wazi uh, na nataka utueleze kuna watu pengine katika serikali mlizo kuwajibika uh, kufanya kazi ama kupata nafasi ya kufanya kazi. Kuna watu waliwadharau hususa na wanaume kwa ule utenda kazi wenu ama mnahisi kwamba mlipata nafasi nzuri ya kujieleza na kutekeleza yale majukumu mliokuwa nayo. Kulikuwa na ugumu wa changamoto wakati mnapotangamana na wanaume ikitambulika kwamba nyinyi ndio mlikuwa katika hiyo nafasi ya kwanza kuhakikisha kwamba wanawake wanapata nafasi. Kuna watu walijaribu kuwakandamiza kuwafinyilia. Na mwesa kusema juu ya hiyo. Tulipoenda as a parliament mara ya kwanza nilienda 1974 na kama pile zipora amesema palikuwa only uh, grace onyango from kisumu kwa hivyo mlikuwa wawili wanawake no, no. tu katika bunge nilienda tuli tuli, tuli mujoin wanawake wa, wa, wa tatu wane palikuwa uh, dr julia ojambo myself mm. na pali, palikuwa ma Marero wa Machai alikuwa kwa wakati huo? No no, nani? Marero wa Machai alikuja baadaye. No no, yeye alikuja baadaye. Lakini tulikuwa na na, na msichana kutoka Kerecho. Uh, ah. Yeah, kutoka uh, Rift Valley, mm. Chemtai, Chelagat. 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 Yes. Na kisha eh uh, Miss Wasingishu. Yes. Mm. Sasa ndipo Mrs. Kichaka was nominated. Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo tukawa wane plus grace we were five. Wakati huo tulipoenda <laughs> ilikuwa ngumu sana kwetu. Mm. Kwa sababu hata hata wajumbe wengine 
they used to be very rude very rude kwa kwa kuongea maneno ya didi ya nyinyi wanawake na hapana kuongea generally lakini mambo chafu na sasa hii tuko pale mali unajua tulikuwa tunakaa tukinywa kawa wanaanza kuporobo kama mambo ambayo wewe uwezi kufumilia tulikuwa unachukua mfuko yako na wewe unatoka kwa sababu sasa ukijibu sasa mambo inakuwa mengine kwa sababu hata wakati huo ilikuwa the kama huko we had no right to be in parliament parliament ni ya wanaume and it used to be ilikuwa ngumu sana i nataka kusema it has been a very rough terrain very hata mimi nilipoingia parliament in 1997 as nominated we were only nine and you know anything to pass his numbers yes so how do you have nine to have a say uniulize tu alafu ukiingia pale ya men say just the house of men hiyo peke yake ina kuindimitet si apili hatungechukua handbag ndani ya bunge unawacha nje alafu mimi nikasema na hii mfuko ya wanaume yote hawezi beba bunduki kama handbag yangu itabeba bunduki and we are only nine mm. you don't a lot of reasoning haijaenda vizuri naam so hiyo ikatolewa handbag sasa wa mama mm. after Marusio. 2010 wamekupaliwa they take the handbag in mm-hmm. lakini hiyo kitu imetoka just the house of men mm-hmm. what about the women na nyumbani tukikuwa nyumbani tunakuwa pamoja ninapikia hiyo chakula unakula we work together lakini tuki, tuki, tukirudi nje mesa ya uongozi mm-hmm. utaki kuona mama hapo na hiyo ndio kitu sijafurahia naam zipora na, na ndio ninasema ile shida ya culture ya kusema mama ni wa uko nyumbani you are not supposed to be at or seen naam lakini tumeona utafauti ya uongozi wa mama after 2010 constitution sasa wamekucha kwa wingi naam and now we other challenges are coming which i don't want to discuss to, to, now to to tunashukuru vile unavyokubali kwamba baada ya katiba kupitishwa right. nafasi imebadilika lakini pengine tutataka tukirudi kutoka mapumzikoni mtueleze kama mumeridhika sasa na utenda kazi wa wanawake ambao wamekuepo baada ya nyinyi na kama hamjaridhika ni kitu gani wanastahili kubadilisha ili na wao waendeleze gurudumu hili pale mlipoachia kwa sababu pengine hapo kunaweza kuwa na changamoto kubwa mtazamaji tunakwenda mapumziko mzikoni tu tunazungumza naye eh, mama yetu Zipora Kitoni na vile vile eh, mama eh, Niva eh, Mwendwa na pia tutakuwa tunajumuika naye Bibeth Mugo eh, kupitia mitandao kwa hivyo usiondoke hapo ulipo tunarejea hivi punde